uh, just wanted to say hi everybody and uh hope y'all are doing good so we are out here today let me turn this camera around right here so you can see with the klx 230s and this weekend we are going to moab for a t-dub ride that's going on down there so my brother-in-law is coming with me and he wanted to take the klx 230 see how it handles since there's things that i've said that i like and dislike about it he says you know what why don't we take that one down there i want to see how it does so on the way home today stopped by rocky mountain and picked up a bunch of stuff for the 230 so my son has been riding this and uh he's kind of done a few things to it and not necessarily in a good way so busted the lever um the bars were a little loose on it so i'm gonna get some new ones on there but let's just show you what we stopped by and got so one of the biggest complaints that i have with the klx 230 is that fetching seat i cannot stand that seat it is horrible so everybody told me to get the seat concepts so on the way home from rocky mountain today picked up the seat concepts uh this is the comfort low i think is what this one's called the low comfort right there so pick this up and i thought actually that it was just like a bolt on and bolt off seat but this one comes with the foam on the inside and then a new seat cover so it looks like comes with everything in here so i'll be doing a video on this and showing you the ins and the outs of installing the seat on the klx 230s so right now i've got the stock bars on here with the handlebar risers and picked up a set of the tusk i think these are the t10 bars so picked up a set of those yeah i am so i wouldn't say all out there ninja mechanic but i definitely am <laughs> doing a few things to it so it already has the tusk skid plate on there so this one i did have the ricochet on there and then we went with the tusk um this was actually a test one that tusk was making for the klx 230 so the ricochet was there i actually bent the crap out of it and decided to go with the tusk skid plate on there right there Let's see what else we got here aha so if you've seen any of my other videos you know that i love the tusk deflex hand guards so i got it with the mx grips again these ones right here and we are going to install those up here on the klx which i should have done at the very beginning of getting this bike i don't know why i did not do it earlier but i definitely should have done that before so yeah we're just i don't know just kind of makes me a little angry there that i didn't do it before so got that going on there um picked up some of the kawasaki oil so i could do an oil change on this bad boy picked up another set of grips because when you pull these ones off <sighs> if you're careful you can take them off without damaging anything but i'm just not that smart so these ones are kind of gummed up on the end um this one fell over the other day while it was sitting out here in the driveway the wind was blowing pretty dang hard so yeah but anyways let's see where we're at here trying to answer comments while we're going along yes i was not actually going to keep this very long at all um i had 
I had like really no desire. Well, I had an idea to keep it, but it has been for sale since January of 2023. So if you know of anybody looking for a KLX 230S, I've got one for sale right here. And then the last thing, I think the last thing, what else we got in there? So I picked up another Tusk lithium ion battery because the key was left on on this one and it killed it. So this sits right over here behind this cover on the KLX. So we're gonna put another lithium ion battery there in the KLX 230S and we are gonna take this down to Moab and see what it does. Now, I've taken this on a ride, quite a long ride, just to test the seat on here. And let me tell you, the seat, like I said, is not, how much did that lithium battery set you back? They're 95 bucks at Rocky Mountain. So I have a link in the description that'll take you to the Rocky Mountain page. Um, but I will put the link to everything that I'm putting on here, their Ninja Mechanic afterwards, so that you can get it. I'll put it in the description and also in the comments. Um, but I did a pretty long ride on this. And when I, the downfall of this bike for me personally, and this is not for anybody else, this is just for me personally, the seat on here is extremely uncomfortable. So that's why I'm getting the, the, uh, the seat concept seat on there. The other thing with my weight, I cannot, like six gear is useless for me, honestly. It's, <laughs> it's just better to stay in fifth gear for me because once I shift into sixth, I actually start losing speed. It doesn't hold the power. Like it, it doesn't do anything. So, um, one thing that I've actually thought about doing with this is getting, let's do this here. I have thought about getting a bigger rear sprocket on here and just to give me a little bit more torque on the bottom end to see if that'll help pull you know, in that sixth gear. The other thing that I need to do is lose weight, obviously. But we're going to see if the bigger sprocket will actually help. Um, so my brother-in-law, my other brother-in-law, Chase, we took this down to some hills that he used to ride. And he did a hill climb with this. And that hill climb, yes, Ninja Mechanic, it does. Even in sixth gear, flat terrain, it does lose it. And that's for me. That's not for everybody because others have said, hey, I don't have a problem. Um, but my other brother-in-law took this and did a freaking gnarly hill climb on this. So if you have not seen that video, I highly recommend checking that one out. Um, he, <laughs> he goes and climbs, puts this thing down into first gear and just takes off. So those were clear down in those hills. Well, actually, past those hills down there. But um, So it, it has the power. And it's probably just my weight and the gearing on here. Um, the on the other so the seat, the sixth gear, and then honestly, that ground clearance right there is the other downside to this bike for me. So other than that, other than that, the bike is really, really good. So even the fuel issue that I talked about before with the fuel gauge being like real finicky and like every 10 miles it drops, like drop, drop, drop. Oh, let's see. Um, I don't know who this is commenting on here. Um, can the, the KLX maintain highway speeds considering a mid-sized bike to complement the T-Dub? If you are lighter weight than me, most likely, like it'll get up to 65. Um, it got up to 64 with me, and that was just like, just me being a big, heavy dude. So if you're more like, I would say from anywhere like the 220 range and lower, yeah, you shouldn't have any issues, you know, going highway speeds with it maintaining highway speeds with it um also my elevation i live at six thousand feet of elevation so that's definitely a factor and then my weight is the other factor 
Um, I yes, I know. I'm. So is it Derev's architect? Ar architects. Dar. I'm. I'm. I don't want to pronounce it wrong. So I'm. I'm not. I. I recognize though. I know who you are, and I have seen you comment and and watch the T Dub stuff. So I just want to make sure I'm saying it right. Derev's. Darius. There we go. Oh, gotcha. You can fit people on the back too. I'm not going to read that one, that one out loud, but um as far as seat goes, it's completely uncomfortable. So, yes, Darius, I remember. There we go. Um passenger wise, yes, they can fit on there. I'm trying to get that out of my face. Uh passenger wise, you can take one on there. It's not very comfortable. It is definitely doable. I don't uh, how many girls on I don't know you guys. How many girls one oh on the back. I don't know. I'm <laughs> I'm not even going to start with any of that. So um me and my wife ride it though just fine and um I'm a big dude so and she's not big at all. So I put the weight on the bike and it's just I don't know honestly out of those two if if me and my wife are riding I'll definitely prefer the TW over the KLX 230 and that's on the street and on the road because one it has a way more comfortable seat two it just does flat out better when going off road and and even on the road everything I actually prefer the TW when I'm riding with my wife over there on the back so um, let's see. What else are we missing here? Oh, yeah. That should be pretty much everything that we are doing to the KLX 230. And I'll be doing videos on this stuff. So if you're wondering and, you know, what the seat, how to install it, what that's like. Um, bars are super easy to do. As comfortable as my BMW R11. Just a bit slower. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, I think that's pretty much it. Um, other than that, if you are going to be down there in Moab this weekend, come say hi, shoot us, you know, like a, a comment or something on here. And uh, we are going to be at the Sand Flats area on Saturday doing a ride with John from the TW Forum. So, He's got a ride. I've got the link in the TW. Wow. In the TW video on that one. I'll put the link to that here as well. So you can check that out. And then, um, yeah, maybe we'll see you guys down there in Moab. So somebody did comment that they might crash it with their DRZ 400 SM. That'd be cool. I'm all for it. Let's see it. And then otherwise... We've got more content coming out on the Triumph Scrambler 400X. We've got more coming from the TW. We've got the KLX 230. I'm going to be doing more stuff with the Harley. And uh, just there's a whole lot more to come. So if you haven't already, feel free to click that subscribe button. Um, I've got some hats that are going to be coming available here in the next little bit as well. So if um, just keep an eye out for those. I put a link, or excuse me, a picture in the community post on YouTube. So if you haven't seen that, check that out as well. And uh, yeah, thank you all for joining. Darius, we got Ninja Mechanic, Thumper Squid. Let's see, who else? The Pale Horse. Um, uh, I don't know who that guy is. Ninja Mechanic, thank you all for joining. I greatly appreciate it. Who else? We got any other shout outs? I'm on the fence since it's an eight hour drive from Fort Collins. Yeah, I hear you. Um, so, yeah, I mean, try to come out to T Dub Fest though. In September 20th through the 22nd of 2024, we're going to be out at Little Moab having a good time out there for that one. So, had a whole bunch of people show up last year, ton of fun. So if you're going to do one event this year with the TWs, come out to TW Fest. 
And let's make sure I haven't missed anybody else on here. Ninja, yep, same folks. Yeah, that's what we like to hear. Ninja Mechanic. I looking forward to seeing you out there. There's another, there's a couple of other guys that came out from Colorado as well. So you won't be the only one. We had, I think, three or four from Colorado last year. So, anyways, you guys, I hope that uh well hope hope you guys are doing good and thank you all for watching for commenting for liking the videos for sharing the videos greatly greatly appreciate it and we're just gonna go have some more fun so i'm matt this is mob street thanks again for watching and we yeah i wonder if those so um uh ron <laughs> ron was the one from new york i hope he's coming back and i really think he will we had a great time with him out there last year um dude it was so much fun meeting those people from out there so i hope that more and more come more and more see the videos and we get even more people out there so matt with mob street you guys thank you again for joining i greatly appreciate it and uh yeah we'll see you in the next one and if you're coming down there, Thumper Squid from Wisconsin, dude, that would be awesome. That would be so cool. So, uh, yeah, if you're going to be in Moab this weekend, shoot us a comment, let us know, and hopefully we'll see you down there. And we're done with this one. I'll end it right there. Thanks, guys. We'll see you.